Great morning. Great morning. Great. not here. <laughs> Can't ask about the 54-yard kick. <laughs> you can just start with it on a trip. <laughs> yeah, man, we would have liked to hit the ball a little bit better. Uh, I think he got it a little bit on his toe. It didn't come off his foot quite as well as we wanted to, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan said this week, um, Khalif getting that game ball and how he's an Iron Man. How he's just been able to be there when you guys were dealing with injuries at wide receiver. Obviously, is a key pump return guy. Just how glad were you to see not only him get the game ball, but awarded a special teams player of the week and just get recognized for everything he does for you guys? Yeah, I think, uh, gosh, you know, I, I think as a coach, or the longer I coach, the more gratitude you get from watching players succeed and uh, do something maybe they've always wanted to do and you know for him to score a touchdown I had known that he had not scored one in his career um, I had thought that he was capable of doing it and uh, so to be able to be a part of him getting that first touchdown on a punt return in his career um, is very gratifying I would say for me it's really part of why I do it you know anytime you're around players who you think are difference makers or great players you really want to help them achieve and accomplish um, you know some goals or or some things out there that you know they want to do and so to be a part of that was great uh, it, was, it was obviously an incredible job by him He's just a great, he's a great dude. He's a great worker. Um, he, he loves the game of football. It's really important to him. Obviously, his story is incredible. Um, you know, he, he played at Holy Cross College, which was the first, my first job was coaching football at Holy Cross College. Um, and so I know what the place is like. I mean, it's an academic institution. They want to see themselves like an Ivy League school and the kids that go to school there don't go to school there for football. And I would say that during my time there, I don't know that there was too many of them that truly believed they were going to go play in the National Football League. So for him to hold on to that dream and then be whatever, cut and picked up and cut again by five, six different teams in this league, and then to go on and play like he's played is really a testament to who he is. Um, so he's really well-deserving. Um, yeah, and uh, I was definitely happy for him. The uh, I would say that there was a lot of, you know, there was a lot of people involved with the play, just like always. And truth be told, I would say, you know, the offense moved the ball all the way down the field. I always say that, or I've said to you guys a handful of times, that field position is really all three phases. And um, the offense moved the ball all the way down the field. They didn't punch it in, but they put them on the two-yard line. And then the defense went out there, and they they moved them backwards from the two to the half yard line, which is an incredible job by those guys. Um, and I would say AG, man, has done a great job with that group. I can tell why him and Dan are so close. I mean, he embodies the word grit. The guy, there's no doubt he was an incredible player. I mean, he's relentless as can be. He's firm in his beliefs. And uh, he coaches one way, and he's not going to compromise. And I think those guys on defense rallied around him and done a great job. But they did a great job. They held him back there. They put him on the half-yard line. And then we were able to go take the field. And Houston you know, was rushing the punt on the inside, and he put a lot of pressure on him. The punter hit a low ball, which really helped us get started. And then another great story, no one knows about that play, but uh, during the week, you know, we had a lot of respect for number 34, their gunner. They had moved him around right and left, and they put him where they thought the ball was going to be more often than not. <clears throat> and uh, we knew it was going to be a tough matchup for us. And so we talked about that in the meeting room. And then after the meeting, Jerry Jacobs came up to me and said, hey, coach, I want number 34. Well, we didn't have Jerry on that unit going into the game because he was starting a corner and he was going to play more on the outside there for us. And he came up to me and said, hey, man, I want to be in there. Um, and I think that's also a testament to the returner and Leaf. And those guys believe in him and they want to make plays for him. And so Jerry went in there. He held up number 34 long enough for the thing to get started. The guy hit a low ball. Houston put pressure on it. It's just all the little things that go unnoticed. And then, um, um, and then we got a great block from CJ. He came back down the field, had a great block. Uh, we had uh, Pittman, had a nice block. And uh, 
he took care of a guy. And then we had Justin Jackson come down, and he didn't make a block. But sometimes the plays you don't make are as big or not bigger than the plays you do make. And some of those guys would have blocked that guy in the back. He didn't. And then uh, Woods had blocked a guy on the backside, and then coming across the front side, lo and behold, it's Houston again. And another great block, and that got it in the end zone. So it was a great play, a great play to be a part of. Um, but uh, it was the effort of a lot of people. Um, we, we know that there's a, a decision to be made on, on defense this week with uh, safety. Um, so that's CJ and, and Iffy that are kind of uh, competing for that spot. And, and Dan said you know, some of it is going to contribute, you know, boil down to like how does that impact special teams. Um, we know CJ's had just such a big role for you guys since you brought him back. So. Just, just can you give a sense for how you factor into that discussion as they're kind of trying to weigh the decision on defense? Yeah, um, honestly, I would say, you know, they could, they could ask me for my opinion, and that's usually done. Um, it's probably done every week on a number of different players. Um, but th I would think they would ask me my opinion on something like that maybe, and then – Really, what ends up happening for us every week is, like I said, with Jerry, you know, Jerry was playing for us more, and then he was playing more defense, so he's playing for us less. And so we'll just modify their role based off who's playing more on defense and whatnot. You feel comfortable regardless of situation. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I feel, I feel great no matter what. Um, it's the same thing at corner, you know, what corner is going to come up, you know, for the last spot on the roster or whatever. Um, but yeah, I feel great no matter how it goes down. The bottom line for us is we, we got to find a way to make it work. Um, and that's what we're in the business of. <laughs> so. Got a lot of guys on special teams to kind of get their flowers so far this year. I just wanted to ask about Josh Woods and, you know, not just his play, but also what makes him the right leader for that group. Yeah, he's been he's been really good. He's really come on, come along for the group. I think two weeks ago or something I talked about, you know, he was talking to the guys in the huddle and, uh, you know, he was saying everything I wanted to say. Um, but, I mean, he understands the game very well. He knows what needs to be done. He's got experience, so he understands, you know, like the ebbs and flows of the game, what's going on, you know, that maybe, hey, this is a play where somebody could let their guard down and let's make sure they don't, um, et cetera, et cetera, just a lot of things. But he's also been productive. I mean, lately, he's, you know, he had a nice tackle on punt for us in that game. He had a nice tackle on kickoff he was a part of in that game. Um, he's been a productive player. Yes, sir. Get back to that 54-yard field goal. Uh, <laughs> uh, Christmas no, but he's been uh, – I love that. A lot of respect for you for doing that. Um, the uh, – yeah, I'm lost what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, Woods, he, he's been great for us. He's, he's done a great job. I mean, he's a great player, and so we're fortunate to have him. Maybe nobody asked this, but since I'm walking in late, the, uh, I saw the, the NFL they changed the ruling on the Raiders where they couldn't kick on top of the team. Did you consider that? Is there any advantage to that? I don't know. What do you, what do you make of that? that yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a funny situation if you knew all of it. But uh, I'm friends with a guy in Vegas. And so anyway, there's more to the thing. But uh, th they got it right in the end. Um, and it is anytime there's something like that that goes on, you, you look into it. We investigated it. I thought there was a little bit more risk and reward for us personally, in my opinion. Um, but uh, so we didn't end up doing that. And then it didn't matter because they went back on the rule anyway. But yeah.